Hi kindergarten friends, happy Tuesday. We're gonna jump right into our language arts lesson today. We're still working on the question, what do you miss teach us about nature? We're going to read again, Masani can help and learn about how different myths are created and how sometimes it's trying to teach you a lesson or you can learn something from it. And then we're going to be also working on that long eye again and working on that on pages 178 and 179. So if you have your packet at home, go ahead and open it and then you can follow along with Miss Beery. If you don't have it yet, don't worry. We'll be doing it in class when you come to school. On the left side, we have about the author and then some of those um, vocabulary words. We have octopus, jellyfish, creatures. Um, about the author, read the text and look at the pictures to learn what the myths tell us about nature. Ru Chien is the author and illustrator. She lives in New York with her dog, Feta, and her cat, Georgie. She loves sea animals, reading, and ice cream. Ooh, Miss Beery loves ice cream, too. Okay, let's go look at the right side. Here's our cover page for our story. It's written by Ru Chien, and the illustrator who drew the pictures is Jamie Tableson. And down here it says, the story comes from Mexico. The main characters are Ashanti and Masani. So remember, this is a myth from Mexico, so it's teaching us how we got the beaches in Mexico. We have our, some of our characters here, the octopus, jellyfish, jellyfish, and Masani. So let's open it up and look at the story. Okay, boys and girls, remember we go top to bottom, left to right. Over here we have Asani, and he is right here. He's uh, looks like maybe he's the god of the sea, and then he wants to make a beach. He needs sand, so he has a problem. He needs sand to make a beach. So here we can see some of those sea creatures there, and he's thinking about that beautiful beach and all that sand. Can you help me, asked Asani. No, says the whale. So look over here, the whale's like, nope, I'm not going to help you, I'm swimming around. Let's turn to the next page. Okay, boys and girls, follow along. Can you help me, asked Asani. No, says the octopus. They're like, nope, I'm not going to help. Can you help me, asked Asani. No, says the jellyfish. The jellyfish is right there sleeping on a starfish. She's like, nope, I'm not going to help. So Asani is going to all these different people looking for help, and nobody's going to help him yet. Okay, boys and girls, follow along. I can help, says Masani. Masani. The sea creature laughed. You cannot help. Masani feels brave. I can help, she says. So she's thinking, I can do it. I'm brave. I will help you. I will help you make that beach. So look, she She's going like this, I can help, I'm determined. So together they're swimming, and then they're gonna do something to make a beach together. Okay, let's look on the left side. Masani feels proud, I can help, she said. And look, she's getting all that sand together, getting all that sand, and then look, here we go. Akashi makes a beach. I help, says Masa Masni. And then we have Asani up here, who is a sky god, and there's a beautiful beach. So remember, Asani wanted to make a beach and then nobody else would help him. So what did he do? He found somebody like Masni who was willing to help. And even though Masni's friend said, oh, you can't help, he said, I'm brave and I can do it. So even when you're not sure if you can do something, remember, give it your best try. And then maybe you'll be able to achieve it with a little bit of hard work. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to pages 178 and 179 and work on some more letters. Okay, boys and girls, we have some words that we're going to read and we are going to write. Now, I do see there's a magic key below, and then you'll be able to highlight that if you'd like. So let's see, we have S-I-T, let's tap that out. S-I-T, sit. Go ahead and get your pencil. Miss Beery's gonna grab her crayon. I'm gonna trace it. S-I-T, sit. S-I-T, sit. One more time. S-I-T, sit. Wonderful. Next, we have pig. P-I-G, ready? P-I-G, P-I-G, pig. Go ahead and trace it. P-I-G, pig. Go ahead and write it. P-I-G, pig. P-I-G, pig. Wonderful. Okay, let's see down here. I see that magic E. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace that magic E with my highlighter. And I'm going to underline that I so we know that the I will say I instead of it. So we have L-I-N-E. What does L say? Oh. What is the I going to say with the magic E? I. N. N. Ready? O. I. N. Line. Go ahead and trace it. L. 
I N E L I N E. I got a little bit cut off there. L I I N E. I think Miss Beery needs to sharpen up her crayon. It's a little bit messy. That's why you always use pencil in case you need to erase it and try again. Okay, and you want to go ahead and highlight those magic E's here. More than welcome to. Okay, on the right side, we're going to be looking for the long I and the short I. So any of the long I's, we're going to underline them, and for any of the short I's, we're going to circle them. So the first one is rice. Do you hear the long I, the I, or do you hear the short one? Do you hear the I or it? It's the I, so go ahead and, circ or go ahead and underline it. For the next one, we have wig. Do you hear the long I or the short I? Short I, so go ahead and circle it. Next, we have dig. Do you hear the long I, the I, or the short I, the I? The ig. I hear the short I, so go ahead and circle it. Next, I have line. Do you hear the long I, the I, or the short I, the I? I hear the long I, go ahead and underline it. Couple more. Next, we have pin. Do you hear the short I, the I, or the long I, the I? I hear the short I, the I, in the put I, N. So go ahead, and un or go ahead and circle it. Next, we have kite. Kite. Do you hear the short I, the I, or the long I, the I? I hear the I, so go ahead and underline it. Next, we have slide. Do you hear the short I, the I, or the long I, the I? Slide. I hear the long I, so go ahead and underline it. Next, we have gift. We have gift. Do you hear the short I, the I, or the long I, the I? I hear the short I, the I, so go ahead and circle it. Great job, boys and girls. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to write some words down, and we're going to be sounding them out to see if they have the long I or the short I. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to sound out these words together. Are you ready? What does case, or what? Okay, boys and girls, we're going to sound out these words together. Some of them have a long I, and some of them just have the short I. What does H say? Ha. Huh. What does I say? I. What does D say? D. Ready? Ha. Huh. I. D. Hid. Great. Let's look at the next one. We have S, L, I, D. What does S say? S. What does L say? O. What does I say? I. What does D say? D. Ready? S, O, I, D. Slid. Great job. Let's look at the next one. I see a magic E, so that I is going to say I instead of I. So we have S, I, D, and the magic E. Ready? S, I, D, side. Great job. Next line. What is, oh, well, I see another magic E, so we're going to say I instead of I. Ready? K, I, T, K, I, T, kite. Great job. Oh, another magic E. So we have H, I, D, E. And the I is going to say I instead of I. Let's go ahead and do it. H, I, D, hide. Wonderful. Next one, we have K, I, T. No magic E, so it's going to say I. Ready? K, it, kit. Wonderful. Next line, what does S, I, D say? Ready? S, I, D, Sid. Wonderful. See more. S, L, I, D, and a magic E. So we have S, O, I, D, slide. Great job. Last one. We have L, I, M, E. Ready? We have the magic E, so it's going to say I, O, I, M, line. Okay, boys and girls, the last thing you're going to do today is you're writing sentences. So I'm going to show you the sentences you're going to be writing. Get that done, and then you'll be done with language arts today. So we have our sentence, Mike likes to swim the little fish swim in a line. So if you see it, we have our pictures from our story, and we have all the fish that are swimming in a line. So make sure you take your time, make sure you are writing the words, the letters from top to bottom, giving yourself some space, finger spaces, and then if you'd like to, you can go ahead and highlight those magic E words with your highlighter. Just like Mike, like, and line. All those are magic E words. Okay, boys and girls, you have a great job. And Okay, boys and girls, you did a great job today. And I will see you on Thursday for some more language arts. Bye, friends.